Hi everybody, this is the first video for Science Olympiad Polymer Detectives. We're going to be talking about polymers. And you're going to play detective by trying to figure out different types of polymers in the world around you. This presentation is going to give you the tools you need to become a great detective of polymers. First, I'd like to answer the question, what is a polymer? Well, the word poly means many, and the word mer means part or segment. So a polymer is just a substance that's made up of many smaller segments or monomers. And sometimes these monomers uh, number in the thousands and millions to make a single polymer. Now, one of the questions you might ask is, why should I care about polymers? Well, look around the room and tell me what things are made of polymers. You'll be surprised. Polymers are not only plastics, but also things like wood. Paper, which is made from cellulose, is a form of a polymer. Your clothing, you know, if you have cotton, nylon, wool, polyester, these are all polymers. Even your nails and your hair and the muscles in your body are different forms of polymers. Now, there are natural polymers and synthetic polymers. Natural polymers are those you find in nature, like wood, hair, nails, or cotton. Synthetic polymers are man-made. They were created in a laboratory. Examples of these synthetic polymers are things like polyester in, your, in the clothing that you might be wearing, or nylon, and a host of others that we're going to talk about today. In fact, some people say that polymers are the most important substance in the universe. Now, why would they make such a bold statement? How can polymers be more important than, for example, water or the sun, which is made of hydrogen and helium? Well, that's because of this polymer. Those of you who might recognize it know that this polymer is called deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA. DNA is what makes up the so-called genes of your body. These genes not only determine the traits that you inherit, from your parents and your relatives, but they are the secret of all life on the planet. They contain the blueprint from which you and every other living creature was made. Without it, no life would exist. There would be no people, no animals, no trees, no plants, not even bacteria. And it's only because this polymer exists do we exist to ask the question, why should anybody care about polymers? That's why people think, some people will tell you that, that polymers are the most important substance in the universe. Here are some common synthetic polymers. Do you recognize any of these numbers that you might see on the containers uh, of products that you use? Um, we're going to be talking about each of these in quite a bit of detail. They're all synthetic polymers. All are man-made. And all these polymers are, are, are known as plastics. All plastics are polymers. Now, I want you to remember, however, that not all polymers are necessarily plastics. Like I told you that cotton and nails are also polymers, but, but they are not considered plastics. Um, now, there's a reason for this numbering. The, the, these products are, are numbered in their order of recyclability. So PETE, for example, which is used in Coke bottles and, and water bottles, um, is the most recyclable plastic. Why is it named number one? Well, it's most recyclable because it can withstand high heat and can be melted and melted over and over again without losing any of its properties. In other words, it can be recycled over and over again. Uh, and, and, and that's what is typically done with uh, PETE bottles. All these polymers are very difficult to tell apart, however, just by looking at them. So as a detective, how do you tell them apart? Well, I'm going to be teaching you the different properties and the makeup of these different polymers so that you can understand how to be a great detective in telling these polymers apart. First, I'm going to talk about the two most common synthetic plastics, 
are polymers. High-density polyethylene and low-density polyethylene. 